Hey guys, welcome man. Just get into a game and, and league. I haven't done too much league. I've actually done a little bit. Normally I'm all gym when gyms are on, but a bit of a my Movember Mo coming in right about now. So I've been thinking about different things I can do with it. Maybe have a shorter one. Not that it really matters to you guys, but I suppose you guys have to look at this on my face for the rest of the month. So if you want me to do something special with it, let me know. Anyway, here we go. It's a semi-electric psychic deck, which is pretty interesting. I like these kind of decks, like if you like the ones where I made with my Oricryo, and just they bring a different kind of playstyle. And the two of the Tapus, and I've got I've got Bulu and Coco. He has got Lele and Coco, so this should be interesting. He's got Hurdle Jump, Gold Lock, and Max Revives. All right, so since he's running Coco, I'm just going to dump my Coco on the back line, and the reason why I do that is I've mentioned in other videos, but it's to protect him. It's so he doesn't, because other times I chuck him out and on that middle entry, and half the time your opponent will come down and take, and take you out, or maybe not. Maybe they get taken out. It's, it's a fairly risky one, but I leave it for that them to make that choice. So because he comes out with Coco, I'm like. Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to get my Bulu out, because if I get Bulu out and protect my goal, I can potentially threaten him a lot. So, that's going to deter him from coming at me, and let's see how this goes. And yeah, So, that's exactly why I didn't put my Coco up and out in the middle, because that happens. Um... <laughs> But there we go, so Bulu is going to be my defender, Coco should not be able to walk through him at all, so that's going to be one bonus. Um, now, okay, Mew comes down, now that was surprising for me, I want to get my Terrakian out, and the reason why I want to get Terrakian out is he's got a 50% chance of, we've got 50% of Mew's wheel that he can take out, and boom, there we go, and then I can also go over next turn and start heading towards that Coco, because I, the reason why I put Terrakian in this, I, whereas I used to have Venusaur, if you're watching my older videos, um, is that I came up against, there's, there's still a lot of people running Toad, just like me, and if I'm running Venusaur, they're not running Venusaur, then Venusaur can be a liability. And that that's a bit of a shame. It would be cool if Venusaur's ability was only opponent, then I think it'll get a whole lot more use. But because it can also nerf yourself, that's where it gets into some trouble. So, alright. <clears throat> um, the reason why I don't dump my toad back now that I'm past all my talking is because I want to get him ready to take Lun Lunala. If Lunala comes forward, then I want to be able to take out uh, Poi, give him a status. And I just want to have him sitting there so I don't have to try and get him out later. Um, but I want to get him my get Mega Gengar threatened so he has to defend. Um, so he's either going to set us around up, maybe with Oricario, I think, will be the best. Um, I think she's definitely the best defender. No, Raikou? Okay, oh, see, now, I'm different about that. I would way rather use my Raikou offensively than defensively. Um, but, hey, it's people's choices. Um... So Zapdos is out, and I am going to go over and defend with that Zapdos. I want to get that Oricorio. I've got the best chance of beating it with Zapdos, and I don't want to get everything else confused of mine. I don't want it to come down and let it confuse my Terrakian, although Terrakian does have a good chance to take out that Roost as well. Alright. So, uh, yep, that's the Moonbeams. Um, it's a bit of a shame. So he takes out Terrakian. I definitely thought he would have taken out Zapdos. If I was in his position, I would have taken out Zapdos. Um, because Zapdos is more of a threat to him. Oh, and there's that Lunala miss. Um, but good thing is, he's now got a status effect. He's going to be pretty average, say at best. Zapdos has got, will be able to defend against him, no problems now. So that's one bonus. Um, and... When Lunala has a status effect, it makes it so much easier, so much easier to attack and defend and and maneuver around. So double purple there, and maybe 
I was, I was kind of, obviously I was hoping for the taking out and for the, the kill, but what I did want is I to get in a better position to mega and surround or threaten goals and things like that. So Earthquake goes down, glad my bully didn't get taken out. Because <laughs> um, that happens. But that was also a terrible matchup for my opponent because he's poisoned, half attack, there's... The best you could hope for is a moon, mooning beam blast. Now he's got to get ready to defend. He's got to stop his mon from being surrounded. And he's also got to get ready for Mega Gengar. And he does it with well, that's See, now I wouldn't do that. And the thing with Lally is, he's now not a gold attacker. So I've got 50% of the chance to survive. Um, and I'm just going to start pressuring now. Full pressure all go, uh, get Zapdos on up on the other entry is what I want, um, and if I can do that, then I'll be able to just pressure my opponent like anything, um, if I can move up one attack, alright, so Max Revive coming down, there, there goes that theory, so, um, he comes and attacks me, hopefully I get gold on purple, um, boom, the, the terrible thing about doing that is, the max revive attack he has just wasted all his all his advantage of getting a max revive he got a max revive placed him and then threatened with him but not attacked yeah anyway it's especially when we in rolls in like 50 50 it's just not i find definitely not worth it hoping for that white on white all right not quite what i hoped for but um, he's just trying to get that Lele away from his Raikou, I think. So, what I'm going to do now is, because he did it, I may as well, I can either get Coco or, um, what's my rock face. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm going for Mr. Terrakian, because I want to be able to go over and take out that, uh, that Coco easier than with mine, rather it's 50-50. Um, that, that, those are the thoughts going behind in this little uh, thing up here and this is a crazy he's got to hope that I get my miss I'll do a big misses don't get me wrong but I've still got a gold block Ula Ula I'll definitely take a Ula Ula right about now no abilities I want to cancel so that's fine with me and now this gives me a chance to attack potentially just take out Coco here and if I can take out Coco boom God, a normal miss. I find that so funny, is that often when Mons get statuses and other things, they'll roll their natural miss anyway, and not their big one. It's crazy. Um, so, there we go. And because he previously poisoned himself, that's, that's terrible for him. <laughs> he sucks the gets taken out earthquake lucky I didn't get my zap that's knocked out not that it should very easily although it does roll this miss too much just like every other mon like Lunano like Terrakian Coco everything um, now he's got to defend all forfeit so I'll take that forfeit win this deck does pretty well pretty well I, I am very much enjoying it I'm still testing out its capacity what, what I can do with it and and because of that, I have lost a few battles. But if I don't test, I don't try, especially before the end of the month. So that that's why I'm doing this. Um, yeah, but it's pretty solid deck at the moment. It's pretty, pretty solid. Terrakian to get rid of all those pesky blues that are in the meta at the moment. I mean, I was struggling with Terrakians when on opponent's teams. That's why I thought, you know what, I haven't been using him. I put a C level into him long ago. I might as well use him. Let's just open up this daily wheel, see what we can get. And uh, gems, booster ticket would be lovely. Um, oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Um, <laughs> 70 gems, that doesn't happen too often. That is awesome. I'm just going to take a little quick screenshot here and share it around. Um, because that, yeah, ever since they made that blue, or that, that white smaller, um, 
it's a rarity, a real rarity. I haven't got one of these in a long time, and that is definitely going to help. Hopefully, save up some gems to get another opening, maybe for the next banner. Um, potentially, like I mean, I've already got blue, and there's only one more new EX. Although I do want a Charizard Y, um, maybe a Charizard X would be nice. And maybe like I, I would still mind um, the the final form of the L and things like that so there is a few things and another chandelier chandelier i would love that so there's a few things i wouldn't mind getting but there's nothing that i absolutely need for right now i'd love a incineroar but i don't find that i absolutely need it but anyway enough of my ramblings 70 gems that is awesome way to top off this video <sighs> so lucky i hope you guys are getting that luck too and we'll see you all shortly with another video see you guys